my kings and queens and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I've been seeing a common trend in the beauty industry. <coughs> I've been seeing a common trend in the beauty industry Should where- you stop the wait till me leave? So I will be doing a trend that has been going on a lot in the makeup industry where people have LED lights and they do a look with the red setting or the blue setting. I think I'm just going to do the red setting so it won't be different. But if you want another video like this where I do a different color, comment down below that you want the video and the color that you want me to try to do my makeup in. So basically if you don't know how this works, obviously us beauty gurus do our makeup with very bright lighting like this. But these LEDs literally block out all sorts of light like this and colors look different colors so i don't know how this is gonna turn out but i watched so many videos so i'm so excited to do this also excuse this outfit of mine i had on this shirt and it just got hot so i'm not in my regular studio i don't know if you can tell my regular studio has a white uh, backdrop but i'm currently in my bedroom because this is where my LED lights are. Before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thank you for 11,000 subscribers on the road to 100,000. Also guys, I'm filming this right now on the day where Chicago found out that the president is extending the quarantine until April 30th. I was supposed to, supposed to, I don't think I was actually gonna go, but I was supposed to go back to school on the 8th, which is two weeks from now. But now that's not happening and prom and graduation are up in the air. You guys know VidCon got canceled. My trip to Italy got canceled. So everything is just so crazy, but I hope that you guys are staying safe staying clean practicing social distancing i haven't gone really anywhere except to pick up food but for the most part i've been home doing homework online school and things like that so yeah i just want you guys to practice you know being safe and clean and if you do know someone who has it make sure that you fill them with love and comfort and positive thoughts because i'm sure that's a very scary thing for them so to make this a happier topic again let's get into the video so I'm going to go turn off my lights and I will turn on this light and I will turn off this studio light because that will obviously ruin how I'm going to see everything. Okay guys, oh my gosh. My room look, he looks so scary right now guys. I'm going to show you. Look how scary my room looks. Oh my gosh. So to start off, I am going to apply my aloe vera. All of my base makeup I'm not that worried about, more so the eyeshadows because I just feel like that is gonna be the challenge. And I'm going with my Mario Badescu um, Aloe Chamomile and Lavender Spray. This isn't the rose water because when I went there they were out of rose water, but I got this one, I actually do kind of like it. You know like how this is gonna turn out. So we're good. Y'all hear that whistling? Oh my gosh! I thought someone was trying to come get me! Okay, I'm putting on my foundation right now. I don't even know if my foundation is going to be all the way blended or not. Okay, now for my concealer, my Born This Way concealer. I know where most of my acne is, so this part, like I said, is super easy and I know my proportions. Everything's going good so far. Oh my gosh, I don't know if everything's blended out. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my eyebrows. And I don't have to explain this because you guys know how I do my brows. But I still do use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. I feel like my eyebrows are going to be way too dark. But now I'm about to conceal them. So... We'll see y'all, but. So I just finished out carving out my brows and I'm about to blend the concealer in. Okay, so now I'm going to go on with my contour palette. Time to bake. So there's a little background noise in my house right now so for this part I will just be doing a voiceover so I'm taking my Hoola 
palette thing and I'm going to just bronze my face. Time for the eyeshadow. So I am using my Jeffree Star X Shane Dawson Conspiracy Palette for the second time ever in my life, which makes me nervous for this look because I don't know how it's gonna turn out. And I'm just taking, I don't know what color this is, but it's dark to me. And I just want to have like a smoky wing look that turns into just like a smoky eye. So that's what I'm going for. Then I got my James Charles palette and I started dipping into this dark color. I think it's blue because I know my James Charles palette a little bit better because I use it more often. So I think it's blue or purple. It's somewhere in the bottom two rows. Then going in with my Kylie Bybel palette, I just took a color. Um, they're all shimmery, so I don't know which one it was, but I was hoping it was the white one. And I just cleaned that up and then used it also to just blend out my eyes because they look so dark and I feel like it looks like someone punched me in the eye. Then I'm cleaning it up with some concealer. Then back with my James Charles palette, I used a lighter color. Um, it was on the first row of the palette, so I think it was either orange or red. And I just blended that on my under eye. Then I just got a little stressed because it was too much for me. Then I found a lipstick that looks brown to me, but I don't know what color it is and applied that on my lips. Now for this, I kind of cheated, but I took my Kylie Bybo palette and I just added some highlights. And I know my highlighter palette really, really well. So I know that that is the gold shade. Once I was done with that, I went and put on lashes and... Hey guys, so the look is done. I have not seen my face yet and I'm so nervous because let me tell you guys just what this makeup looks like to me now. And I feel like it's kind of on my part because I don't know my palettes, like their shades by heart. The James Charles palette was a little giveaway. Yeah, I used the Conspiracy palette for this one and I do not know those shades. To me right now, my outer corner looks like a dark, like a black i think um and then i i know i use three colors so then this part i this is the blue but it looks like a burgundy and this right here just looks like my skin tone um, my lips look like a brown so there's that and then my base makeup just looks regular i know my highlight was gold so i'm gonna turn on the light and i'm not gonna look at myself until i get back on the camera two three oh Okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay, my highlight or whatever this is is not blended out all the way. I'm gonna get you guys close. This is not blended. If you can see, I don't know what that is. I think it's contour. But yeah, that's not blended out. My eyes, low key. Oh, I forgot I put a color under here. It's red. My lips are not brown like I thought. <laughs> But the eyeshadow is low-key kind of good. This part probably needed to be blended out more. But in that light, it just looks so perfectly blended already. This side, it's okay. It's kind of like mysterious. I kind of like it a lot. I don't like lipstick on me, so I don't really know how I feel about red. Everything else is good. The eyebrows turned out better than I thought. They're definitely skinnier than I usually do my eyebrows. The base makeup is pretty good. You know, there's not too much contour, not too much highlight, not too much bake. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a big old thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, become a king or a queen. Like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, our lockdown is going on for a whole nother month. So I will be able to post a lot more because I'll just be home all the time. Comment down below if you want me to try this look in blue light, green light, any other lights. I have so many colors on this thing it's insane so just let me know and i will do it i love you guys so much like i said in the beginning make sure you stay clean stay safe practice social distancing you can facetime people you don't have to go see them because we do not want this spreading i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye that's a wrap the sun goes so the party running some nails i've got them running from 12. 12.